If you look up the definition of a fermion in somewhere like Wikipedia, it sounds very complicated. It mentions things like spin. I think we can offer an explanation which is a little more straightforward than that. The widely accepted standard model suggests that everything in the universe is made up of a few fundamental building blocks governed by four fundamental forces. The building blocks are called fermions. Most people have not heard of many of these, which is not surprising, since most only exist in special conditions and only fleetingly, for example in a supernova or in a particle accelerator. There are two groups of fundamental fermions. These are leptons and quarks. Leptons can exist independently, whereas quarks can only exist in combination with other quarks. The best known lepton is the electron, which has a negative charge and is completely stable. The electron neutrino is often associated with the electron in subatomic interreactions. It is possibly the most abundant particle in the universe, but it has a minute mass and no charge and and scarcely ever interacts with other particles, consequently very difficult to detect. The tau and the muon have the same negative charge as the electron, but they are much more massive and they are very unstable. The associated neutrinos are also very unstable with very brief lives and, similar to the electron neutrino, they have no charge. So quickly summarising what I've said about leptons. All leptons can exist independently. The main named leptons have a negative charge. The neutrinos have zero charge and rarely interact with anything else. The electron, the best known lepton, is responsible for chemical reactions and is generally the charge that conducts a flow of electric current. The muon and the tau with the associated neutrinos are rarely produced and have very brief lives. Of the quarks, the up and down are most significant to us because they combine to make up the proton and the neutron. All the quarks seem to be named by someone with a strange sense of humour. The others are the top and the bottom, the charm and the strange. The up, charm and top quarks have a two-thirds positive charge. The down, bottom and strange each have a minus one-third charge. So we've listed 12 fundamental particles in all, but in fact there are 24, because each of these particles has an antiparticle, each of which in terms of charge has exactly opposite properties. Quickly summarising the properties of quarks, three, that is the up, charm and top quark, have a plus two-thirds charge, the down, strange and bottom quark have a minus one-third charge. It is the up and down quarks that are especially important to us, being the building blocks of protons and neutrons. The other four quarks, charm, strange, top and bottom, are rarely produced and have very ephemeral lives. Quarks cannot exist independently. They are attracted together by the strong force to make groups of two or three which are called hadrons. There are two types of hadrons. These are baryons and mesons. Those two most important particles, protons and neutrons, are baryons. Within a baryon there are three quarks. Protons, two ups and one down, and neutrons, two downs and one up. Mesons, a combination of two quarks, one quark and one antiquark, are hadrons. But peculiarly, even though they are a combination of two fermions, they are not fermions themselves, they are bosons. For the explanation of that, I'm sorry, but you'll have to investigate spin. I hope you found that useful. Copies of this chart and this one are freely available as PDF downloads on the website. The link is on the screen now. Thank you for watching.